You're listening to the Batuta Advocates Weekly News Wrap on Desert Rock FM 96.5. Live from the Baxter Boots studio here in downtown Batuta, this is the Batuta Advocate News Bulletin. The day is Thursday, the 20th of June. You're here with editor Clancy Overall. I'm joined by editor-at-large, Errol Parker. Hello. And, of course, Wendell Hussey, the cadet-turned-newsreader, the Brook Boney, Richard Moorcroft, what have you, of the Diamantina Shire. What's going on, Wendell? Hello, hello. We'll start off with some good news for our great state of Queensland this week. The economic trickle-down from Adani has already begun with an Indian robot ordering a Chico roll down at a Mackay server. That is great news. Senator Canavan came out and said that was great news to hear. So uh, soon after they'd signed off and got the final environmental green light for Adani because, you know, there was a lot of pressure on the government after the original 100,000 jobs shrunk to, I believe, below 1,000 for unskilled central Queenslanders. Well, it is nice to see these robots are spending their money in the local communities up there. Today, it was a Chico roll. Tomorrow, it might be a jet ski down Hunts Marine or might be... A houseboat? Yeah, yeah. It's going straight back into the community. You're right. And the actual robot was heard saying as he was leaving the uh, Mackay BP, beep, beep, and some sauce, love. Thanks. Beep, beep. Which is, it's, it's off to a great start up there, isn't it, Wendell? Yeah, it's doing very well. But a commenter of ours, Daniel Robert, has actually criticised that robot, saying he's really disappointed that it doesn't drive a lime green Malu ute and have a Facebook photo of it catching a giant fucking snapper that it just caught off the coast. Now moving on to a bit of a grimmer economic story and the government is getting on the front foot this week with Josh Frydenberg blaming the retail recession on the fucking Barefoot Investor. Yes, and in fact, if you read the uh, Barefoot Investor's book, effectively what he's saying to you is the only retail decisions you should be making is to buy his next book. So, I mean, I guess he's created a bit of a market for himself, a bit of a vortex. But yes, Frydenberg did admit that we are in a full-blown retail recession. They thought they'd handballed the impending recession to Labor, but actually they went and won that election. So uh, now they've got to blame Barefoot. Yeah, I think to really kickstart the economy now, I I would say that all those Barefoot people out there really need to get their splurge card out and give the economy a bit of a kickstart. As Frydenberg said, he said, do away with that splurge account, get rid of that orange card, run the ball up, get a credit card, go hard, spend money. Yeah, hopefully that fixes things up for the economy. Moving on to a bit of local news now, and we spoke to a man this week who used a vague commitment to go to the gym to justify a mid-arvo servo snack. Very, very local news there. What spurred this decision, and did he get to the gym later in the week? It is Thursday now. It has been a couple of days, and we haven't been able to touch base with him regarding that promised gym trip, but it was spurred on after a big weekend. He was feeling like shit, rolling home after... A tough Monday, doing his best to look busy, and he decided he wanted a little pick me up. What did he go for? I think he went for the new Maxibon double handle. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. Yeah, if there's one thing that gets me through a terrible Tuesday, is a double handed Maxibon. It's like a midweek pinger, really, isn't it? And I don't think it was that bad of a decision in the end. Speaking of, there was a very bad decision, and that was made by a mate famous for making appalling decisions, announcing he just bought a Jeep. Yep, and as it turns out, in the comments, there were lots of people who own Jeeps, and as this newspaper seems to attract the bottom rung, the bottom drawer of this nation, that doesn't surprise me. Yes, there were people defending Jeeps, and there were also people uh, criticising their friends for making that decision. A valued reader, Chad Smith, wrote that Jeeps are actually the only car finance companies never repossess. By the time you get your Jeep five kilometres home, it's worth less than the cost of a tow truck and a standover guy. Very, very good, Chad. Yes, they're very expensive lemons. Sports news now, and we're on basketball, with LaMelo Ball picking up a few shifts at Port Kembla Steelworks to supplement his NBL salary. Of course, this comes after the 17-year-old, youngest member of the uh, ball basketball dynasty in America, decided he wasn't going to go to college and would like to get paid for that one year of basketball that they tend to play before they go pro. And he's decided on the NBL in what many people in our town have described as a hilarious, hilarious decision and a hilarious turn of events. Yeah, well, I have heard that NBL players don't get paid that much. So I guess that's why he's going to have to do a few night shifts at the Steelworks to really put that good premium unleaded in that 1997 Hyundai XL he's going to be driving. Yes, well, Lamella Ball did tell reporters that he's already joined the footy comp at the Blue Scope Steelworks down there in South Wollongong, Port Kembla. 
and he's joined the union as well, which is good. He just didn't envision spending his year off between school and the NBA with piss-cutting Macedonian steel workers down there, but he's, he's on the front foot, and he, he doesn't mind getting a schnitzel burger at Chico's. Disgusting. Anyway, that is great news for the sport of basketball, which doesn't often have great news in this country. So we'll finish on that positive note. Thank you for tuning in, whether that may be on the radio or through the Diamantina Podcast Network. Join us again next week for another wrap-up of what's been happening around the town, around the country, and around the world. Until then, I'm Wendell Hussey. And I'm Clancy Overall. And I'm Errol Parker. Goodbye.